Hi. In this video, we are going to talk about the variable definitions in Java. Java is a static type language, and variable types are fixed at the time of their declarations. To define a variable, we simply specify its type and its name. For example, I'm defining a variable of type int and call it i here. Let's print out this variable. As you see here, I'm getting error because I did not initialize the variable. We can initialize the variable after its definition, or we can do this initialization at the line we are declaring the variable, like this. With the recent versions of the Java, it's possible to define a variable using the var keyword without explicitly declaring its type. This way, compiler will take the burden and will figure out its type based on the value that is assigned to it. Besides variables of int types, we can define variables of other primitive types in Java. We can define a variable of type double to store floating point numbers. We can define variable of type boolean to store boolean values that are true or false. And we can define variables of type char to store characters. These are primitive types in Java. But besides variables of primitive types, we can define variables of class types. Each primitive type in Java has a corresponding class type. For example, for the type int, we have a corresponding type integer. For the type double, we have double. For the type boolean, we have boolean. And for the type char, we have the type character. In Java, these class types are compatible with their corresponding primitive types. For example, I can assign variable of type int to the variable of type integer. And as you see here, printing the value of ii, I'm getting 0, which is coming from the variable i. This works the other way around too, and I can assign the variable of a specific class type to a variable of corresponding primitive type. For example, I can assign the variable of class type double to a variable of primitive type double. And Java does the conversion automatically. Let's see what happens when we assign a variable of type boolean to a variable of type double. Java complains because it cannot automatically convert the type boolean to double. Let's change this k to l, which is of type char, and see what happens. We are getting 97, which is the ASCII code of the character a. Let's try a different thing. Let's assign variable of type int to a variable of type double. As you see here, 0 is successfully converted to the floating point 0. But doing this the other way around, we will get error. Java cannot convert automatically double values to int. It prints out possible lossy conversion from double to int. In general, when it's possible to do conversion without losing information, Java will do it for us. Otherwise, we need to explicitly command Java that we really want the conversion to happen. For example, in this specific case, we can enforce the conversion by putting int b for j in this assignment. Let's run the program again. Oops, I missed to change the variable j to i here. Let's run it again. And Voila, explicit conversion happens from 10.5 to integer 10. Let's this time try to explicitly convert floating point to char. Here the variable j holds the value 10.5 and I explicitly command Java to convert it to character. Let's change this to L and run the program. Okay, we don't see anything in the output. I'll explain later why, 
But first, let's change the J value to 100 and run it again. When we are converting a floating point number to a character, Java actually first converts it to integer, and then the character would be the one whose ASCII code is that integer number, which in this case is the letter D. Previously, since I had 10.5 in the variable J, Java converted to 10 but put the character corresponding to the number 10 in L. Since this character is just a new line character, we did not notice its print in the output. When I define a variable as class type, I can use methods of that class over the variable. For example, if I put dot after the variable ii, IntelliJ will show me the available methods that I can invoke over this variable. Let's choose the method double value, which will convert integer 5 to double value 5. Let's now see what double class has to offer. I type JJ dot, and in a similar way, IntelliJ shows me available methods for double variables. Let's choose int value which will convert 15.5 to 15. And as you see here, it prints out 15. 